Good afternoon, folks. Sonia Louise, live at the Environmental Learning Center, celebrating Arttober. And here in the title gallery, we have dressed the walls with the work of Lisa Rose. And I'm here to introduce you to Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Sonia. How's, How's it going? going very well. <laughs> good, good. So tell me a little bit about yourself and tell us about your show. I'm Lisa Rose, and I've been honored to be selected to have a solo show here in the title gallery at the Environmental Learning Center. And we're having a, an uh, opening reception on October 24th between 4 and 6 p.m. Hope you all will come. Or if it's over, then sorry you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> in any case, and so my show is titled Jewel Tones in Nature. Oh, so tell me about this title, Lisa. How did we come up with Jewel Tones in Nature? Well, I'm kind of known as a colorist because I like to put a lot of color in my paintings and people always comment, oh my God, I just love your colors. And then I just reply, it's not my colors, it's nature. I'm just actually repeating what's in a photograph or some inspiration but it's truly just the sunsets i'm not making it all up wow so tell me a little bit about your process then you said you're a colorist you are inspired by nature what does your process look like how do you create one of these beauties well the first thing would be as i said get a photograph to work from and then i'll lay it out with a charcoal vine doing a basic sketch of uh, the layout and then i start filling in because it's pastels soft pastels on sanded paper is what these pieces are. So the, 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 it's dust, very dusty, and the dust falls down. So I start at the top and I just fill in and my hands just take over. I don't know why, but before you know it, it's done. Wow, so how did you get started in all this? Well, it started as a lark. I um, was at an art show called Under the Oaks in Vero Beach a couple of years ago, when I was 67 actually, and I was with a girlfriend and we happened to be sitting in front of this booth and we said to each other, well maybe we should take an art class. And the booth's owner, her name is Dawn Meller, she said, why don't you take my class? I have an introductory pastel class and I never really knew about pastels. I, that was something different for me. So we said, sure, why not? We'll do it. And that was it. That started, started the whole process. Wow. And so from one art class, we now have an entire gallery full of your amazing work. And so jewel tones in nature and specifically these are Florida this landscapes. Florida. What is it about Florida in particular that ex inspires you? Well, I have to say <clears throat> the cloud formations, the sunrises, the sunsets are so dramatic. They're so, you just can't even believe they're, they're real. It's just, and it's, you know, continual. It's every night. There's something more wonderful. So that's what inspires in Florida. The beaches, the sunrises, the sunsets. Wow. Yeah, it's hard to believe, Lisa, that that's real. <laughs> <laughs> that's something that you actually saw with your eyes. And so tell me about this wall. This wall, we've got quite a few little critters on it. Yes, this wall was inspired by, obviously, the turtles, which are here in Florida. We have a huge nesting turtle population. And it just so happened that I was painting that painting just to do a turtle, and I submitted it here to the ELC, and they said, this is turtle week. I go, really? Who oh, no. knew? <laughs> I had no idea. Wow. Cute little guys there. So That's called first swim. <laughs> They're adorable. <laughs> and what's this guy? And that one is a mantis shrimp. And when I was painting it, I actually thought it was a lobster, but then someone advised me that it's truly a mantis shrimp, which is a very small creature. Wow, creature. wow. I, I understand uh, packs a quite of a punch, though. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a one that's called a Tiki Bar. It's a, a plain air piece where I actually go outside and set up an easel and just paint 
what the view is there, and it's that's from the Sebastian Tiki Bar. Oh, no kidding. So you just set up an easel outside and you paint, and it's called what? Plain Air. Plain Air. And how long does something like that take you? Basically, you know, two to three hours. Wow. Wow, just amazing. So Lisa, I just found out that you're a volunteer also here at the Environmental Learning Center. Yes, I have been for many years. I've been doing the canoeing, which is fabulous. And also I was lucky enough to get a position as the first mate on the pontoon boat, which takes a trip down to Pelican Island, which is a fabulous thing. Wow. It, um, any photos that you take, maybe inspiring future works of art? <laughs> I haven't, but now you've got me thinking. <laughs> so this one's a little different, Lisa. What can yeah, you tell this me about is this one? one? Of my first ever oil paintings. I took in a, a class with another instructor, William McCartney, and that's what I produced. Oh, gorgeous, yes. gorgeous. So you have a connection with the ELC. Um, how does your show tie into the mission of the ELC, which is to educate, inspire, empower people to be good stewards of our shared environment and also their own well-being? Well, I'm hoping that this show will inspire some people to have another appreciation, another level of the dynamics of what you can see right here. Just you know, walking outside, taking a, a little walk in the beach and enjoy the sunrise, enjoy the sunset. Look at the colors, pay attention. Absolutely. And so is that what you're hoping people walk away with having seen your show that pay attention pay <laughs> to attention. the beauty that's right in front of you? And, and bring back home a little bit of joy that's oh. right around you and it's free, it's nature. Wow. And so, Lisa, how can people get in touch with you? Well, I have a website, which is called lisaroseart.com, and I have a Facebook page, which is called Lisa Rose Fine Art, and I have an Instagram page, also Lisa Rose Fine Art. You can find me. Beautiful. And so we're going to take just one last glimpse and remind you of the meet and greet on October 24th, this coming Saturday from 4 until 6 p.m. Complimentary wine, beer, local beer, and hard seltzer. And then the show will be up all for the month of November. And we're also going to do an online auction, aren't we, Lisa? So if there are any of these paintings left <laughs> after our meet and greet, uh, they will go online and you will have an opportunity to bring home one of these gorgeous Florida landscapes for yourself and your purchase will support the work of the Environmental Learning Center. So thanks so much for joining Bye. us. Hope to see you soon.